Okay, um, so last night I got a, um, a print interview and my question was flatten the dictionary. Um, essentially is or um, a hash table or associative array. Um, what you mean by flatten it, you take like a normal um, a nested uh, dictionary or hash map, whatever you want to call it, where um, sometimes as a key and a value pair that's normal, but then sometimes the key will and its value will be another dictionary and um, it's just it can be nested. And what you want to do is your input by flattening it is to make it just a one um, dimensional, yeah, pretty much a uh, key value store. Uh, but if it's nested, um, you store the key as a dot notation um, with its nested keys. So it's just very similar to uh, Mongo and how they do their nested. So write a function that will take in this dict and print out this. Um, so on a high level here, um, um, what you want to do is just, so the question comes, how do you iterate um, through a uh, map, a hash map, or a dictionary, and um, how do you keep um, track of tabs of building that um, the key string, when you get a nested something like this, how do you keep track of this, storing that? Um, uh, since it's nested, nested means it's within itself. When it's within itself, it just means recursion. Um, so a recursive kind of nature to it has a feel to it, and that's the solution I came up with. Um, so pretty much, uh, you just call a function that you iterate through the dict. Um, if uh, what you want to do is just build up a flat dictionary, and um, while you're traversing this, you just build up your flat dictionary, which you'll return at the end. So in this case, uh, if um, so let's just iterate through um, the key value pair. Um, so it's this key, and then we want to check it does it, is its value an object. If it's not, then add that to the flat dictionary. So this would add um, key key one and one right there. All right. Else, um, all right. So we did that. So the next key in this. The first um, first dimension is um, its value as an object. So that means what you want to do is recurse and call the function again. But the trick is you want to build up a key store. You want to remember this. So um, you carry that with it, um, and then you look at these next three or three uh, key value pairs, and you iterate through those. So then you'll say. Um, all right, we'll go through A. Is A a value of two? It is. So what you have to do is essentially, you don't want to write just A, right? You want to write key plus two, or key two dot A, and then two. That's a bad looking one. Um, so somehow, some way you have to keep track of that, um, pass another parameter, um, like already, like, you built up a string, and um, then you can can a dot and an a to it. So just iterating through, then we'll see b. Also, by the way, um, dictionaries aren't ordered in Python. I don't know about how other hash maps and stuff are ordered if they're not or not. But sometimes you can get read key two first, or you could read um, c a b. It's just just let you know. So um, continuing with the that's key dot b. Would equal three, right? And then we get to C, which is not um, an object, and you just do the same. You recurse um, and keep. So then the uh, the key you would pass in it would be you pass it in key two dot C. You would pass this in while you work with this um, array, or not array, but uh, dictionary, and you just keep doing that. Um, so you get kcd d would equal three, and so on and forth, so forth. And that's kind of more or less it works. And there's one other little rule edge case. If it's null, um, you don't want to add that on to it. So um, this is it. Say if this this um, was not b but null, instead of key key two b key two b, it would just be key two. And three. 
So um, that's kind of how you want your algorithm to work. So it's recursive and you have to iterate. So iterate and then recurse. All the while, the, and the trick is to keep track of this uh, a variable called already built key. So um, yeah, so um, you get your flattened dictionary that takes an addict, and then here's your flattened dictionary that you'll return at the end. Um, so what I did is um, you create a um, a looping function that that's this is looping gets called um, recursively that flattened dictionary, um, and it takes an addict. No, I call it addict one yet, but um, Oh, it just takes an addict, yeah. Um, and then, uh, like I said, we want to keep track of this built-up key string that we already have. And at the start, it's just it's null or it's nothing. It's an empty string. So what I do is loop through the dictionary. That's the first thing we want to do. Is loop through the dictionary through key and value in in the dict. Here, I want to rename this Not dict one. You know, let's just rename it. D anyways, um, or is that going to break this? Yeah, I'll just call it dict. I'll just keep it dict one. No, hopefully this, this is going to break it. Yeah, it is. Hold on. Okay, perfect. All right, sorry about that. Let's just keep it dict one. It's just the same. You can pass in D. Um, so we want to check um, for that little last statement I said if, if it's null here, if the key is null, um, and if the built up string is null, that means it's the first time, or if it's not null and it's not uh, built up, then we want to do that at the dot notation. So. Um, but. For, just for the same being, um, just say oh, key one gets passed in to this. So right now this is key one, this key. Um, but key one isn't null, so it's not the edge case. So what it, what's going to be the key is just going to be the built up string. Okay, and that's how you build it up. So we're going to build it up before we check if it's a addict or not. Just kind of backwards to what we did first, first where I said. Um, now we get to the point where we want to check if the value, it, it's a dict, if it's an object or a hash table, or else if it's just a value, which then we want to add, um, no, if it's, <laughs> sorry about that, if it's not a dict, that means we want to add to the flat map and we're done with that. So we would add to this flat map, which would be the key and the value it is. But if the value is an object, um, we want to, you know, Loop through, um, loop through the dict, which is v. The v in this case is a dict, right? It's a dictionary. v is an hash or dictionary, whatever. Because no. that's what loop it takes. It takes in the dict, and then it takes in its um, built-up key string, which we already built up before this. So, um, and you keep doing that. Until, well, then you call this looping D because you defined it. And then you would call looping D until it um, it's all done. And then you return your flat dict. And that's pretty much it. So um, as you can see, um, so in this instance, uh, let me shrink this here. It's... Um, There you go. Um, right now, so the first one it starts right here, four kv. Uh, for the first, uh, the first key it looks at like key two. And whoops, key two is you have to recurse on key two. So that's just it's going to recurse on key two. Um, so then it looks at all the key value pairs right here um, for key two, and that dict. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. Go away, you know. Um, 
And then it says, and then it first looks at A, I guess. And since A is not a dictionary, it's going to add that to the flat dict. So it's going to add key2.a, key2.a2. And it's going to add that to the flat dict at, that we're building. Okay, so then apparently it's going to look at C, so it skips B. It gets, kind of gets to the point where I was saying that uh, dicts and hash tables aren't ordered. And it's going to say, hey, well, C is a dict, so we're going to recurse on uh, key key2.c. So key2.c we're going to recurse. Um, and we get there, we're going to look at key2 or key2c. Um, e, which it should recurse, not flatten. It's kind of weird. Oh yeah, never mind. So then it looked at e first. So when it's at this point, it looked at e, so it's going to recurse to e. Um, and k2c.e null um, is one, so we're going to add that to the one. So we're going to add this kv that flatten to the, the flatten dict, and then after that we're going to add um, kcd three, and then we're going to work our way back up. So that's done recursing all the way down to e. So it's going to go back up um, for up our recursive call um, iter iter iterative for loop. Now it's kind of a hard thing to say. And then I'll just keep, yeah, pretty much adding this D3, so KCD, key 2 CD3. Yep, right there. Add that, and then it goes up um, to B because it skipped over B. And then um, finally, since I looked over at this one first and this one second, I'll add that key 1 to 1, and which you get returned is your key 1 1 and your flattened dictionary. Um, and then the runtime of this is just, it's linear of the size of the key sets, the number of keys are in this. And so, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it'll be eight, or wherever that is. So um, it, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of interesting since it's, um, it's, it's a recursive call, but it's not, uh, sometimes you can get in trouble with recursion and uh, exponential. Um, time complexity so but you're doing pretty much linear work on each recursive call so it's just uh, so linear let's see so that's kind of about it um, this but yeah space complexity is n2 since you're not growing um, you're not taking the input each input gets an, its own copy of itself input so and that's uh that's flattening a dictionary. It's kind of fun. The trick is though, is um, iterating. You want to iterate and recurse, and while keeping tabs of the outside scope of variables. So um, the trick was you have to define. I defined it with another uh, subroutine recursive method, and uh, what we build up is on the outside scope of it, and a looping function takes in. Um, a second parameter that keeps tabs of that uh, the key the built-up key string. So that's kind of the tricky, um, tough part of this is understanding like scopes and recursion, and keeping tabs of um, data that's out of a, the recursive call. So.